Hi, let's solve next previous question of recursive enumerable language. This question was asked in Gate CS 2017 set 1 question number 39. Let's read the question. Let A and B be finite alphabet and let hers be a symbol outside both A and B. Let F be a total function from A clean closure to B clean closure. We say F is computable if there exists a Turing machine M which given an input X in A clean closure always halt with Fx on its step. Let LF denote the language X hurts Fx then X belongs to A clean closure. Which of the following statement is true? Option A, F if computable, if and only if LF is recursive. Option B, F if computable, if and only if LF is recursive enumerable. Option C, if F is computable, then LF is recursive but not conversely. Option D, if F is computable, then LF is recursive enumerable but not conversely. So before solving that, you should have knowledge that how you can design Turing machine for mathematical function. I already discussed Turing machine as a transducer where I explain how you can design Turing machine for mathematical function. Just go through that lecture, link will be in description plus in I button. Let's solve this. If f is a total computable function, f is computable if and only if lf is recursive. If it is total computable means it is recursive. If f is a partial computable function then f is computable if and only if lf is recursive enumerable. Total computable means recursive decidable. Partial computable means recursive enumerable and undecidable. What is total computable? Total computable means for all function it will work. Like suppose you are considering x plus 1, whatever you will consider x value, that Turing machine will work. But in case of partial computable for x2 it will work, maybe for x3 it will not work. And every recursive language is computable but converse may not be true. That's why answer will be option A, f if computable if and only if lf is recursive. So if lf will be recursive then only f can be computable. So answer will be option A. Before solving this question, first go through Turing machine as a transducer lecture. After that only you can understand how you can design Turing machine for some mathematical function and how you can solve this question. Thank you.